Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nasrin Padasale. So this video we are going to see what is the cutoff for this junior research fellow. It's a most requested video and it takes many time because this time also the result or cutoff will be released in a percentile wide only. If you don't know the difference between percentage and percentile, I had made a video. You can watch the video and watch this particular video. So coming to the point, this video will be discussing the cutoff for junior research fellow. If you had applied under the LS category that is luxuryship category, please wait for the upcoming video. So in next video, I'll upload the cutoff for you friends. So before entering into the actual cutoff, let me clarify you. Respect to December 2019 and all, the cutoff was per released in percentage wise only friends. Here we are talking about only life sciences paper and also junior research that is JRF here release. So for JRF and life sciences, they had released the cutoff in percentage wise only. So for percentage wise means 50 for unreserved category or general category, the cutoff is 54.5 percentage, which means a student need to get out of 200, he need to get 109 and above, only then he will be considered as a uh, clear. And also next confusion is that there will be no separate cutoff for part A, part B, part C, the cutoff will be released separately, but the category wise cutoff, it may changes. So here with our general category can be able to see 54.5 percentage, whereas OBC category, the cutoff was little bit lower. Okay. So, when you take this November 2020, no, the cutoff was not released in this particular percentage wise manner. The cutoff has not been released. So, what is the reason? So, December 2019, we are in before COVID, that is BC era, and the exam was conducted in one shift. There was no morning shift and no evening shift. The cutoff for the exam was conducted in one shift. So, they had a same question paper. As a result, the NTA has not even incorporated the word called normalization. As a result, the cutoff was released in percentage. Next. November 2020, we are in COVID era, that is AC era. So, this, as a result of this COVID spreading, what NTA thought we can conduct the exam in two shift, morning shift, evening shift. As a result, the exam was conducted in two shift. There are a particular group of students, say, one lakh student has applied, 50,000 students has wrote the exam in morning shift and remaining 50,000 students have wrote the exam in evening shift. At this time point, they can't able to set a same question paper. So, they had set a different question paper. Say, morning shift, they have a write a separate question paper and for evening shift, they write a different question paper. Okay. At this time point, they had incorporated a concept called normalization where they had converted all the raw mark got by the candidate into normalized mark. Okay. So, the main reason of normalization is that there should not be no inequality and no partiality. As a result, after this normalization, the cutoff was released in percentage. Okay. So, this is the cutoff for November 2020 and November 2020 also only one exam was conducted friends. So, same in this particular June 2020 also, you need to compare only the result of this November 20 in which the cutoff was released in percentage. So, many students are arguing, no, this is a percentage. So percentage saying that, so let me student clarify you, if you consider this 98.9427783 as a percentage means, say 98.9 percentage means for 100 mark, 98.9 mark student need to take. And we wrote the exam for 200 mark. Then for 200 mark, a student need to get 197.8, which is ultimately we can't able to get. Even if you check on the topper mark, nowhere topper will score this mark and all because life sciences exam is very tough examination and also CSA examination is very tough. So definitely it is not possible to score this mark by a topper. So maximum mark scored by a topper will be 160 or 170. So please student, please understand what is meant by percentage and percentage. Only then you can be able to give a correct explanation of your cutoff. If you don't know what is mean by percentile and percentage, I have easily explained you in my video. I'll give the link in the description and I also end card and also as a I card. Please watch the video only then you can be able to understand. Next, next question arises. So, with percentile, can I understand my mark? So, currently students are having the response sheet in their hand. So, what student are calculated the mark and currently they are searching. So, my mark is this, can I, cal can I clear the exam or not? So, if, if you compare before, like if you take this December 2019, if you tell me your mark, definitely we can say, okay, you will clear the exam like that. Because previously it was percentage. percentage. But now we are comparing about percentage. So, percentile is different from that of a percentage mark. So, you don't know about what is the mark. The NTA will mask up your mark. Even I am showing the result or a scorecard of uh, mine. So, here you can able to see. Uh, now, here uh, I had applied for JRF friends. So, NTA score alone you will get. And also for part A, part B, part C, they will give a separate NTA score. Please don't uh, worry. This is as a mark. Say for part C and the total mark itself 100. So, 198.2 mark I get. No, definitely not possible. For 100, I may get only 50 or 60 only I can get. And also nowhere you can be able to see the mark. And also I searched many formulas how, how to calculate the mark with respect to percentage. No student, you can't able to calculate 
calculate the percentage uh, mark from your percentage since percentage is absolute quantity so you can easily calculate the mark say for 50 percentage mean for 150 mark for 200, 100 marks you need to take. Respect to personal, it's telling about the relative portion. This is not even a mark. So, no one you can be able to get your mark. Only they will release the NTA score. Okay. So, here also you can be able to see. For only for life sciences, they will release a cutoff in percentile mark. So, first I will give a uh, cutoff mark wise I am giving. So, with respect to officially, they won't release mark wise. So, this is to help the student. So, after releasing your response and also answer key, I hope you have calculated the mark and still you are having a confusion whether I will clear or not. First, I will tell a mark wise candidate friends, mark wise student friends. So, it will be very much helpful. Please don't confuse. Nowhere the cutoff will be released in percentage, it will be released in a percentile only. So, for general category, after you have seen your response sheet along with the answer sheet, if your calculated mark is between 105 to 110, that is 105 and 110, then there are chances for you to clear the exam under junior research fellow category friends. And if you are EWS category, then you should get 90 to 100. For both for EWS and for OBC, I am telling the same cutoff because both the thing is same. But the thing is that total number of candidates who appear in EWS category and OBS category, it might differ. So, based on that, the cutoff will also be different. Since for DWS category, so I had made this uh, mark based on analyzing previous uh, thing only. So, what EWS was came into post only on June 2019. So, we don't have to extract many year cutoff. So, that's the reason I had made to you OBC cutoff. And next, AC means you should get nine, 70 to 80 marks. And if you are ST, you need to get 60 to 70 marks. And if you are a person with disability, you should get 50 out of 200 marks. So, again, I'm saying for general category, if you are getting 110 out of 200, that's well and good. And for EWS, if you are getting 100 and for OBC NCL category if you are getting 100 out of 200 that's well and good and if you are SC you need to get 80 out of 200 and for ST you need to get 70 out of 200 and for person with disability you need to get 50 and respect to percentile friends so I am saying this particular for your references so general category because uh, uh, for general category, you need to get above 98, it should be your percentile score because uh, I'm showing you my self card. So, this is my scorecard, friends. So, first scorecard only will be released after releasing the scorecard. After one month only, they will release the final result page. And this result page, you need to put your application number and you, you can know whether you clear the exam or not. This is how you need to search. So, uh, for the period of one, uh, one month, you, you should only your NTA score will be there. So, for that time, I'm saying, so this is percentile wise cutoff I'm releasing. If you're getting above 98 as your percentile then if you are belonging to general category then you will clear the exam friends and if you are a EWS and OBC you should get above 95 as your percentile score and also if you are a SC you should get above 90 as your percentile score and if you are a ST you need to get above 85 as your percentile score and if you are belonging to person with disability you need to get above 75 as your percentile score only then you can clear your examination friends. Okay, and also I am again and again saying you can't able to check this particular thing now. After the NTA releases a scorecard only, you need to check. So, once the NTA scorecard has been released, please do tell me your percentage score in the comment section because this is how we can able to know, we can predict what is what, what might be the student who will clear the examination. Okay, so this is what I need to share with you friends. Okay, so I hope I have provided you enough details. So, based on your response sheet, please have this particular thing as a reference and please know whether you are clear the exam or not so please friends please uh, uh, calculate your score and do tell me in the comment section below and once the NTA has released a scorecard please tell me your percentage score also friends so that we can identify whether you will clear the exam or not thank you friends thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video i'll release the cutoff for lecturership and assistant professorship thank you friends thanks for watching this video